Welcome my dear friends. C drive getting full is one of the most annoying issues that Windows users often encounter. In this video, we're going to show you the top three solutions that can drastically reclaim your disk space. Without further ado, let's get started. Solution 1. Windows Disk Cleanup. This is a Windows 10 PC, but the steps are pretty much the same for Windows 11 as well. Please search and open Disk Cleanup. Run as administrator. Choose the drive, in our case it's C drive. After this scan, you'll see a list of items that you can clean up. I'd suggest you choose everything, unless you want to exclude anything for a reason. Please select OK. Confirm delete files. This expected to run for some time, so please work on something else or take a break. My cleanup is completed, let's check the space now. I no longer see the red warning. Solution 2. Hunt and clean up unused large apps and files. In this solution, I'm going to show you how you can precisely locate large apps and files. Please search and open add or remove programs. Over here choose sort by size. Some of these apps I've installed long ago, but not used recently. Let's go ahead and uninstall all such apps from this top list. Similarly, we should locate the large files that are hiding somewhere deep inside your disk. Download Wistree, a free portable utility. I've provided the download link in the description. Once downloaded, unzip and run the exe file. Please select the drive, in our case it is C. Let's wait for scanning to complete. In the end, you get a nice visual representation of space usage. If you prefer a simple list of large files, please use File View. Please avoid deleting files from folders such as Windows, App Data, and Program Files. Also do not delete .sys files, with one exception hyperfill.sys. In case you are not using or not aware of the hibernation feature then we can delete it. And the process to delete it is a little tricky, I'll show you shortly. Let's first delete regular files and folders that are large and at the same time, I do not require them. You can right click and delete directly here. Alternatively, please tap on explore folder to open the corresponding folder then delete the files accordingly. Finally, to delete hyperfill.sys, please run the command prompt as administrator. Execute this command. I've given this command in the description. This'll remove the hyperfill.sys. After all these cleanups, please go ahead and empty recycle bin to effectively free up the space. Solution 3. Borrow space from another drive. For this, we're going to use a free software called Disk Genius. I've provided the download links in the description, please download and install the same. Right click on C drive and select Extend Partition. Now select the drive from where you want to borrow space. The current total capacity of my E drive is 232.9 GB. For this demo, I'm going to borrow 2.9 GB. So, after reducing 2.9 GB, the new capacity of my E drive is going to be 230 GB. Please tap on Start. These are the steps that Disk Genius is going to perform. Please go ahead and confirm by selecting Yes. This will reboot the PC, so please close any other open apps and tap OK on these prompts. Your computer boots to a screen similar to this, so please be patient. Disk Genius automatically completes all the steps and will boot your Windows normally. Finally, 
I got my Windows back, and I no longer have storage issues on my C drive. I hope this works for you as well. If you've any questions, please add your comments below, I'll respond. Please like and subscribe if not done already. Thanks for watching.